Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking at mutually exclusive events and how these relate to Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is a graphical tool used to sort a sample space into meaningful groups which may assist in calculating the probability of a specific outcome. You can just see what's happening in the background here. This is a Venn diagram. Two events are mutually exclusive if the sets of outcomes don't overlap. You'll see here my set A and my set B are separate from each other. In other words, there is no overlap between set A and set B. So you'll note here set A is just everything that's within this circle here. Set B, everything within this circle. A or B effectively is everything that's in this circle plus everything that's in this circle here. Not A effectively is everything that is outside this circle A. So let's have a look at a problem or an example. We can say if our universal set contains all students from year 9, then one set would be girls in year 9, the other set would be boys in year 9, and we don't have any students that are both a girl and a boy. It's just not physically possible. So those two sets are separate. Another example. If we are looking at numbers, just integers, odd numbers and even numbers. An integer is either odd or even. There is no overlap. If, for instance, I was looking at people that finish a race or, or start a race for that matter, we could have a set which just contains the person that wins the race a set which just contains the person that becomes second place in the race and all other people in the race, all other finishers would be outside those two. The person that wins would not be considered outside that. The person that's second would be considered to be their own, within their own individual set. Because you can't say someone wins the race and comes second at the same time. You're either one or the other. So how do I use this? Well, if two events are mutually exclusive, I can say that the probability of A or B happening equals the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now we must check that the events are mutually exclusive before I apply this formula. So, a container contains two red, three green, and four blue marbles. Reese, sorry Reese, I've misspelt your name, selects one marble at random. What is the probability the marble selected is red or green? The first question I ask myself, is the selection of my red and green marbles mutually exclusive? Well, well, when I pick a marble, it's either going to be red or green. It, it's not going to be something else or something in between. So yes, they are. that is mutually exclusive. So I can now say the probability of red or green equals the probability of selecting a red plus the probability of selecting a green. So, 
probability of selecting a red will be, well, there are two red marbles out of a total of nine marbles. Then I need to add to that the probability of selecting a green, which will be three red out of a total of nine marbles. So the answer that I would be looking for would be five ninths. Oh, I misspelled Reese's name again. A spinner has five red, three green, three blue, and one yellow sector. Well, you can see all that information up here. What is the probability Reese stops on a red or a green? Now, you can't stop on a red and a green. You can only stop on one of those. So red is mutually exclusive to green. So yes, they are mutually exclusive. So I can say the probability of a red or a green equals the probability of red plus the probability of green. Probability of a red, well, there are five. One, two, three, four, five out of 12. And I need to add to that. Well, how many green are there? There are a total of three. So the answer I'm looking at is eight out of the 12. You can simplify that if you wish, but there's no need to. And all we have now are some questions to do. So back to the key point, two key points. Mutually exclusive events are sets in which there is no overlap. And when I have that situation arising, I will use this particular formula. Probability of A or the probability of B will equal the probability of A plus the probability of B. So until next time, good maths.